my biggest mistake, my biggest financial mistake that I've ever made has to be owning well over 30 vehicles in my entire life. Now, you're talking, what am I? I'm 44, bought my first car at 17, so 27, 37, that's 20, 27 years. So I've owned, you know, one point blah, blah, blah cars per year. And sometimes I've owned two. And a lot of them weren't very expensive cars, but um, I definitely recycled them quite often. Um, you know, over over those 20-some years, you know, we're probably talking a couple hundred thousand dollars pretty easily. And, um, you know, I, I'd like to encourage you, and I know the millennials are really taken to this mostly. Um, a lot of them don't even buy cars. You know, they're taking Uber or public transportation, depending on where you live and your circumstances. But... And especially men, men kind of fall into this, and I was no exception, that, you know, we like a nice car because we think it makes us look good, etc. Well, I'm here to tell you, nobody gives a damn. <laughs> they don't. Nobody cares what you drive. Um, if, you, if you get that realization early enough... Um, you can really make a difference in your financial situation um, because you know what if I didn't spend two hundred thousand dollars on cars over the years you know how much how much could I have saved and, and the answer is a lot it really is um, another tip uh, for for cars is don't buy used in my opinion it's a waste of money um, you know, one, once you drive that thing off the lot, you're you're just throwing three, two, three grand or more out the window. It's just done. And you know, you can get it. You can pick up a two-year-old car, basic transportation, for about eight grand. You know, it's got maybe twenty thousand miles on it. It's a new car. Cars nowadays last ten years, two hundred thousand miles, easy. And um, so I wanted to show you one example, like right here, you have this 2017 Nissan Versa, 22,000 miles, automatic transmission. It's basically a brand new car. I mean, uh, it's not a brand new car, but you get the gist. I mean, you're going to get, you know, well over 100,000 miles out of this thing. It probably gets 30 miles a gallon. And... Um, eight grand brand new these things are like 15 so you know do the math you know so I I always buy one to two yeah one to two year old cars now um, my last car I just bought was about a year and a half ago and it was about a year and a half almost two years old still had a little bit of warranty left but it was ten thousand dollars cheaper than a new one, and it only had eighteen thousand miles on it. You know, so if you're looking at basic transportation, you know, something like this to get you from point A to point B, eight grand. Shoot, finance that sucker for three years, pay it off in two. You know. Oh, another thing with with rates. You know, yes, people are going to make that argument that uh, used car rates are a little higher than new car rates. Some new cars you can get 0% financing. But when you're talking about an $8,000 vehicle, I don't care if you're paying 3.9% versus zero. That, that money difference is not a big deal. And um, one other trick, um, when you're dealing with vehicles like this, um, don't put any money down it's not a requirement you know um, these lenders want to lend money and if the if you've structured the uh, offered the right amount of money for the vehicle and you don't pay any of the or buy any of the 
extra protection, gap protection, paint protection, extended warranties, forget all that noise. You know, go in here, like for instance, this car, I'd go in and, and say, hey, I'll give you 6500 for it. We'll start from there. You know, you probably get this thing for seven grand, plus tax license, all that. But, you know, it, it's not worth it to waste this money on vehicles anymore. Um, so that's my biggest regret. 30 vehicles in, you know, 20 plus odd years. And yeah, if, if I could take all that back, I would, but hindsight's 2020. So that's all I got. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hey, I got a question. I'm uh, really considering getting a microphone. And um, if you think my audio is all screwed up, or could be improved, please let me know. I'd like to hear it in the comments below. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.